healing mind, body, and feelings. The Toronto Hypnotherapist Hypnosis is an amazing tool that has real and measurable effects on the body and the brain, ones that have been measured by scientists and that can help you achieve deep and lasting change. In this video, I'm just going to focus on a few of the many brain studies that prove hypnosis is real. Because there is a growing body of evidence involving positron emission tomography, or PET scans, that have clearly demonstrated that some remarkable things are happening in the brains of people who are hypnotized. Things that can transform your life. For instance, PET scans of the human brain have shown that when we see an image in color, specific areas in our brain are activated, whereas if we see the same image in black and white, other areas become active. As a result, some researchers focused on finding out if hypnosis had any scientifically measurable effect on this process. Here, volunteers were scanned while looking at black and white and color pictures to get a baseline reading. Then they were hypnotized, given a PET scan and shown a color image and then given the hypnotic suggestion to only see black and white. The researchers found there was a decreased activity in the part of their subject's brain that perceived color, a fact that clearly demonstrates that hypnosis involves something more than just pretending, and that something very unusual is occurring in the brain when we are hypnotized. So imagine recalling a painful experience, perhaps a time as a child when you were hurt so badly you ended up carrying this experience around inside you like a heavy weight, and then turning down the sharp colors and harmful words in this memory until they fade into a more mundane black and white so it no longer has the power over you it once did. Another interesting thing that has been proven about hypnosis is that it is where the imaginary becomes real, and this has become one of my favorite ways of working with my clients. PET scans have also revealed that different parts of the brain are activated when we hear a sound, while other parts are activated when we simply imagine we hear a sound. As a result, researchers realized this would allow them to determine which area of the brain is activated when someone is hypnotized and then simply given the suggestion to hear a sound. The results of this study prove that when a hypnotized subject is given the suggestion to hear a sound, the area of the brain that hears real sounds becomes activated and not the area one would expect if the sounds were simply imagined, which of course is what they were, though in a hypnotic state. This accounts for one of the many powerful therapeutic aspects of hypnosis, because what we imagine in hypnosis gets encoded into our brain as if it were a real memory. So imagine being painfully shy, except you now have this detailed memory of effortlessly talking to people at a party. You remember how your body felt so enthralled with making new friends, and your smile went from ear to ear as you had one great conversation after another. And so the next time you go to a party, you don't have to suffer in the shadows, but simply need to recall this memory. Because if you did it once, you can certainly do it twice. Now other studies back up the saying, there is no pain until it reaches the brain. One of these studies focused on the fact that pain causes 
a specific area of the brain to be activated, the anterior cingulate cortex. Now, when subjects were then hypnotized and zapped with a small electrical current, PET scans revealed that there was a statistically significant decrease in the activation of this area of the brain. In other words, hypnosis was somehow able to affect the circuits that relayed the pain signals to the brain. And this brings up something I get asked a lot as a professional hypnotherapist, because some people wonder whether hypnosis only works because it harnesses the placebo effect. And since the placebo effect is really the power of suggestion, and one of the ways hypnosis works is through the power of suggestion, you might think they would be the same. Fortunately for me, as a professional healer, I can say that hypnotherapy is now evidence-based, and the term evidence-based means that it is actually being proven to be more powerful than the placebo effect. Now, in order for any prescription drug to be approved for use by the government, the drug must be measured against the placebo effect. This is usually done by splitting the subjects of the drug being studied into two random groups, one that receives the drug and the other that receives the placebo, which is often a sugar pill. Numerous studies have shown that slightly more than 30% of those receiving the placebo show an improvement, and this number is closer to 50% when dealing with pain control. This means that for a drug to be approved, it must be clinically proven to have a significantly greater effect. This is the gold standard of science. And fortunately, numerous studies have been conducted on the power of hypnosis to relieve pain. And they have conclusively demonstrated that its ability to relieve pain is much greater than it would be if it were merely the result of the placebo effect. Other studies have also shown that when hypnosis is used to deal with pain, it has a different effect than a placebo, because rather than simply allowing you to tolerate more pain, as happens with placebos, hypnosis will actually prevent you from feeling pain in the first place. That is, it somehow prevents the pain from reaching the brain. Now, I do not want to go into this area of research in detail because it will be the subject of my next video. However, if you are in chronic pain, don't you owe it to yourself to explore a drug-free alternative? Now, please keep in mind that skepticism is important to science and doctors are very skeptical of things that cannot be proven through the use of the scientific method. They want to see the numbers that prove things work. This is why it is really nice to say that hypnosis has been endorsed by the British, American, and Canadian medical associations because it has been proven in so many legitimate scientific research studies to really work that it has the exalted label of being evidence-based. If you would like to track down some of these scientific studies and see the evidence for yourself, please visit my website where I have listed over 150 of them. And if you would like to experience this remarkable healing tool for yourself, find someone who has been practicing hypnosis for a while, has good solid training and experience, and knows what they are doing. If you are watching this on YouTube and found it helpful, please click like. If you wish to be informed when new videos are uploaded, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also love comments and will reply to yours.